In this problem, we're told a flatbed truck is carrying a 20 kilogram crate up a sloping road inclined at 15 degrees above the horizontal. The coefficient of static friction between the crate and the bed is 0.4. What is the maximum acceleration that the truck can have if the crate is to stay in place? So for this problem, we're obviously gonna have to draw what's going on. So we have this crate and this truck, and we know it's going up a slope 15 degrees. Uh, we know the coefficient of kinetic friction is 0.4. The mass of this crate is 20 degrees, or 20 kg, sorry. And so in order to do this problem, what you wanna do is draw a free body diagram first. So what are the different forces we have acting? So we have mg, the force of gravity going straight down. We have the normal force, which is perpendicular to the surface it's on. And we also have the force of friction going in the opposite direction. So let's talk about like how this problem works and how we can solve it. So we need to know the rule that some of the forces equal mass times acceleration. And so think about how, think about how this problem uh, works. So basically what we're gonna do is the sum of the forces is we're gonna find the forces acting in the opposite direction. Because we need to know what those are added up because if the force going in this direction is more than that, it's going to cause the object to move. Because uh, if this force is our less, right, this is acting on, I should have drawn this more on the, the, like the crate, but it basically serves the same thing. But just imagine this on the crate, mg. Uh, but if, if the force is acting in the opposite direction are less than the forces in this direction, then it's going to move. So we need to make sure, like the maximum it could be, is these two forces added up in the x direction. So we need to find the force of friction. So keep in mind, we're doing the sum of the forces in the x. And when I talk about the x, I'm talking about this plane right here. So mg, notice it's not along the x, the force of friction is. So it's going to be the force of friction plus, you could call it uh, mgx, or essentially the x one. And that's going to be equal to ma. So let's go ahead and solve for these. So and keep in mind, a is going to be the maximum acceleration. So what we're solving for. Um, but yeah, the force of friction, the formula for it is mu sub k times f sub n. So mu sub k in this case is 0.4. I'll actually leave it. So it's going to be 0.4 times um, f sub n. And so f sub n in this case is equal to, since we're going up this way, it's equal to uh, the y direction of the weight force, which is mg times the cosine of theta. And keep in mind the x direction for uh, the weight or the force due to gravity is mg times the sine of theta. So you have to keep those in mind. So f sub n is mg times the cosine of theta. So m is going to be 20 times g, which is 9.81, uh, times the cosine of theta. And so what theta is for both of these is the angle at which you're inclined, so 15. Uh, but yeah, so go ahead and multiply this out, 0. 0.4 times 20 times 9.81, then times the cosine of 15. What you're going to find is that it equals, uh, or the force of friction is equal to 75.81, um, we'll say. And so this is Newton's. So we have the force of friction now. Now we need to find mgx. And as I said, this is the weight force in the x direction, which is this right here, mg times the sine of theta. So mgx is equal to the mass, which is uh, 20 of the crate, times um, g, which is 9.81, and then we multiply it by the sine of theta, which is the incline, uh, and it's 15 degrees, so 15. So 20 times 9.81 times the sine of 15. Uh, sorry, give me a second, 9.81 times the sine of 15. And when you go ahead and do that, you'll find that it's equal to uh, 50, we'll say 50.78, so 50.78 newtons. So now we have both of these, add them up, 50.78 plus 75.81, you'll find it equals, or both of them added up, so this is equal to 126.59. And so this is gonna be the force acting in the opposite direction. So it's going to be equal to the mass times acceleration. Solving for acceleration, you divide by the mass. So divide this number by 20, so the mass of the crate. And what you're going to find is it equals 6.3295, which is about 6.33. And yeah, acceleration is meters per second squared. So um, this is basically going to be the maximum acceleration uh, for the object to stay in place. Um, but yeah, so this is going to be your answer. And if we look here, C is the same thing. So. The answer to this problem is going to be C, and hopefully you found this useful.